The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? So grim about the homestead, now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that... He doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. Leon. I know. But it's been months. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. The Chasseur has a lead on the box. You need him and Chevalier and St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what did he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shay. I had a long talk with Adam Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to well, project words or images. Like a magic lantern? What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall, like cathedrals in Rome. Bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strange language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, you'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both can be lovely. You see, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But... That's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. You don't say. And then there's the maids I met in Lisbon. Destined for the convent they were. Dark-eyed and kindly dispositioned. If only I'd spoke Portuguese. Not that we spent much of our nights talking. We're almost there, Captain. The Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. That's a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. Hold down and clue up! What happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ships in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry. You can catch him... there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my wooded friends. Okay. Sweet. Captain? I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Shay. Why shouldn't I be? 
I have a new weapon, and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. I also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. Morgan now has a ram cut through ice itself. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. What about Smith, then? Is he close by? Aye. He sails his very waters. And he may have the precursor box. And let's find him. Aha. There he is! Most fortunate timing! Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you! He's seen us! Give chase! But hold your fire! We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can't this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Fire! Our target's a smart man. What he's doing in these waters is beyond me. Maybe he came here to meet someone. Or ran into your pirates. He's refitting his ship. So something must have happened. If one of my allies attacked me, I would have known about it. But he's back to the long voyage. Now there's a chance to get him. Smith controls most of the Templars well, doesn't he? With him out of the way... Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship. Or force him to beach. You will destroy the box! Look, Captain. He's cutting through the ice. This is not a game, Captain It seems you are not the only one in can't risk losing a precursor shape. box, Captain. Let us hope ours fares just as well. Is clear. Now, uh, once more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is giving away. The fall control team orders closely. It's an ambush. Up where you see the other not Smith must not escape. He's still within reach. Yep. Coming 
for you now, Smith. Wickedness is this! Another Templar tactic. They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay! We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. Oh my God. Turn the he knows off. we have him. Now we know where he was headed. Barson has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I take care of this. How would you rate this game compared Treasure to the other Creed games? Came before. Yes. Uh, it it's got a lot of bugs, but other than that, it Some seems of the pretty interesting so far. Some scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <laughs> the now bugs make it a little difficult to play. And all shall be revealed. Where do you think you're going? Give me 
You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. Speaking of Lawrence Washington, but you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardo. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. Okay. Six Nations for a while. He's responsible for the New York levies now, I think. He also has lands and trading posts all over the colonies. They built for women. Never heard of him. Not attend soon. I have money and connections, you know. That may be, but I can't let you win. Well, we'll see about that. Yeah. Seems to think they're I'm sure they do. Well, it's too late now.
control and not a Frenchman in sight. My God, it's good to be English. Yeah. That's what you get for not paying attention, dumbass. Bother jump and just fall down. Whatever, screw that thing. What the hell? Oh, I guess I didn't sneak into the Congress. That must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript, or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join, or die. Yeah. A rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript, Captain? I apologize, sir, but Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You made the excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post haste. Else I will have him scalped. Yeah, I guess word hasn't reached that you don't have the box anymore either. I can't let that lobster captain reach Wardrop. Now to Wardrop. And the manuscript.
little handholds and everything. Nope. Okay. Fine. How about here? There we go. I'll take that, you Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If yeah. everything is permitted, no one is safe. It's an awkward position to Even die the in. devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes. Can I jump off of that? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. 